Well, hello, happy day to you. <laughs> What's up everyone? It's Jessica, welcome to my channel. And today we're doing a, another video in my favorite series. Okay, one of my favorite series that I do on my channel and that is my Vogue Celebrity Beauty Secrets videos. I'm excited because today we're doing Olivia Rodrigo. Now you've either heard of her or you haven't which could be said about anyone. <laughs> she is this 18 year old woman that is a singer and I think she's in like High School Musical, The Musical, The Musical. <laughs> it's not what it's called, but that's almost what it's called. But while I'm looking this up, she also just released an album and it's really good. It, it very much makes me feel like I am a teenager again. It very much encapsulates everything that is like being a teenager. And it's a lot of, you know, like breakup anthem type songs and it's just, it's a fun one, but anyway. Yes, yeah, she was in High School Musical, the musical, the series. I was close. <laughs> I think they should have gone with High School Musical, the musical, the musical. <laughs> she did this video and it was very fun for me as a 32 year old to watch her do her makeup because you know, she is still really young, but she has had makeup artists working on her for you know at least a few years now. And just kind of hearing what she's already gleaned from them. This was done in partnership with Glossier, and so a lot of the products were Glossier products. But I did do some digging and found out the other products she was using. She didn't always show it on camera, and boy, did I do some digging to figure it out. I think I figured out everything she was using except for one product, and uh, we'll get to that. So I've chatted enough about her. Definitely give her album a listen. It's called Sour is the album, and it is... There are some bangers in there, I'm just saying. Now that you have some back background on her. So the first thing that I do, I love these like Ollie gummies. So she takes her multivitamin, washes her face. I've already done those for the day, so we're gonna skip that. But next, I'm excited to try this next product. My cute little Glossier bag. <laughs> so I'm gonna first start with this Ordinary Serum. People always make fun of me for it, but I always like, whoop, shoot. I always like go like that and I don't put it on my hands, which I don't know why, it's just so much fun to do it like that. She doesn't really show, show the product. And again, I think because this video was done in partnership with Glossier, that's why they weren't shouting from the rooftops the other items she was using, but did some comment digging on YouTube and on Reddit and found that she was using the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid 2% plus B5. At least I'm pretty darn sure that's what she was using. I have tried quite a bit from The Ordinary. I've not tried this though, and I love hyaluronic acid. And so it says it's a hydration support formula with ultra pure vegan hyaluronic acid. So it says you can use it AM and PM before creams. So that's what we're gonna do. The Ordinary is great. My only gripe, because the price point is great. I've, I've had great experience with, I think, every product I've tried from them. I just realized she drips it on her face and I've got it on my hand. Oh well, I don't wanna waste it, okay? I'm just gonna press it in. It's a little stickier than I envisioned. So actually this would be one that's ideal for dripping upon the skin because <laughs> it would actually, it's a little bit more viscous than I expected. So very sticky, but it feels like you're actually doing something for your skin, which can kind of be nice when you're needing hydration. I feel like that feels pretty good. So I'm excited to incorporate that more into my routine, assuming it doesn't mess up like makeup or anything underneath it, that will be nice to kind of use within my daily routine. Another serum from The Ordinary I liked a long time ago and I need to buy again because I miss it, was their Buffet Serum. So that's another one worth looking into. What's next, Liv? I kind of just started recently doing this this year and it's like really relaxing. Sometimes I do this also at, at like the end of the day when I am taking the makeup off. So this is one I have, it's from e.l.f. It was sent to me a while ago and honestly, I've never used it. So, do you just do it once on each side? All right, uh, I <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, guys. I think that's something that if I, if I wanna get serious about that, I will like do my own research and actually get into, but I feel like I've heard good things about gua sha, so maybe I will do a little more digging and try it out some more. Doing your makeup or you're, you're doing your skincare, you're taking a shower and taking care of your hair or whatever, you're not on your phone and you're like by yourself and you can kind of really recharge. That's really important to me. I have the most peely lips for some reason. Like my lips aren't like chapped, but they'll just heal all the time. Um, and so lip scrubs really help. All right, so here she was using the Bite Beauty, I'm assuming their weekly lip scrub. And I've actually never tried this, or if I did, it was years and years ago, but I really don't think that I have. 
and it's bigger than I thought it would be. I don't, I don't know. I feel like most of the lip scrubs I own are smaller, but what's cool is that, oh my gosh, this smells better than I thought. It smells more vanilla-y than I thought, which I am here for, but it does come with this little um, spatula, which she was using there, so we're gonna give it a go. And it's also more like liquidy than I thought. I feel like a lot of lip scrubs I've tried are like kind of pressed in there. They're not quite as liquidy. That's not the right word, but I, I think you know what I mean. It's always weird. It's weird watching someone use a lip scrub. Can I get an amen? Some accidentally got in my mouth. That is delicious. She was not wrong. That was very pleasant. Like that was a very pleasant lip scrub to use. So it's a little pricier. There's one from Milani I like. That's I'm sure like a fourth of the price of this that has a similar smell. It's maybe not quite as liquidy, <laughs> but it's really good too. So if you wanted to like try one out, that is definitely one I would recommend as well. Next thing I do is I will put on some chapstick. All right, she's using Burt's Bees here. I'm not a fan, which is funny because my brother has been addicted to Burt's Bees forever, like 15 years. I don't know about 20, maybe. It, he has literally loved Burt's Bees forever, so that just made me laugh seeing that. But I, but one thing I didn't talk about earlier, she showed this bag. Okay, I have to admit, I placed two orders from Glossier for this video because one thing, one thing we'll talk about later wasn't released when I placed the order. So when I placed the second order, I initially was like, I'm not buying the bag, like I don't need the bag. And then when I did some digging into the bag and I was placing the second order, I was like, wait, I maybe need the bag because it's kind of cute. It's got like the measurements of it. There's this extra pocket here, which I think is nice. But inside there is an organizer. An organizer, you guys. So hold on, I've got a couple of the items actually already in here. But there's all these pockets in here where you could have like separate little compacts, your lip products stacked up. Like there's so much organization and you can unsnap it if you don't want the organizer in there and take it out. And then you just have a nice big bag with a little bit less organization. So I have to say, I'm kind of glad I bought it. I kind of love it. But for lip balm for us, I'm just gonna throw on because I have it right here, this Wander Beauty lip oil. I really like, I typically, my lip balm of choice I just don't have it right in front of me, is Aquaphor. Just plain old Aquaphor. You guys, it has totally transformed my lips. It's the best. This is the BB cream that I always use, and I always put it on with my fingers. I used to do it with beauty blenders and stuff like that, but I never washed them and like actually took care of them, so they would just harbor bacteria and my skin would freak out. So I just use my fingers most of the time. All right, so I actually have two shades of this, and one of them is the wrong shade. Here's my thing. I remember trying one of these in the past and I don't really remember my feelings, but I remember it was way too light for me. And so I went a little darker thinking maybe these run light and no, they do not. So I don't know what the deal was a few years ago. So I have sand and cream and cream is definitely closer to my skin tone. And with tinted moisturizers, one thing I've realized is I'd rather it be a little bit darker than a little bit lighter. There's something about when something's a little too light for you that for me, it just, I, it will ruin the entire product experience for me. So I'd rather aim a little bit darker. So this is gonna have to do because I'm not placing a third order. <laughs> so, so she just applies it with her fingers. I appreciate her honesty about, uh, you know, never taking care of her beauty blenders. I felt that. I was kind of swatching this the other day on my face and I was like, I think we could probably layer it up. Like if you wanted a little bit more coverage, I'm a fan of tinted moisturizers, but I do like a little bit of coverage. So we're going to see if this provides that. I loved her message and we'll talk more about this later of like, you know, less can be more. So with one layer, my skin definitely, you can definitely still see like my freckles, but it looks healthier and it did add that kind of glow, not like dewiness, not like luminosity, but just like a hydrated glow. I don't know if it was just this or this with that ordinary serum, but it looks nice. I kind of want to see if a second layer will do anything. I know we just talked about how less is more, but sometimes I want more. I do think this kind of a formula though, it just, it kind of feels like a sunscreen, like a moisturizer, you know? And uh, I don't know how well this would lend itself to being applied with a beauty blender or a brush anyway. I'm sure you could pull it off, but I think it might be best with your fingers. So I don't know that it was m more coverage, but I do think it looks nice. Like First Aid Beauty is a higher end brand, like it's expensive, but these were more expensive than I think I realized. So when I was placing these orders, I was like, geez Louise, like these were way more expensive than I thought they were. I don't know why I always think of First Aid Beauty as a kind of more middle of the road, but 
I don't know, man. It does say it has SPF of 30, and I just realized I did not put sunblock on, which means she didn't. Well, it's gonna have to do for today. I'm a big proponent of sunscreen. If you saw my sunscreens video, wear your daily sunscreen, seriously, but uh, oh well, here we are. <laughs> cool, okay, the next thing I'm going to use is the Glossier Stretch Concealer. I'm obsessed with this stuff. It's just super subtle. That's like sort of what Glossier does best. All right, <laughs> this may be the third time I've bought this, maybe second. Um, but it's one of those concealers that gets so much hype and every time I try it, I'm like, I don't get it. But my, my tastes change with every passing year. Maybe I will like it this year. I went with G10 just because I wanted something a little bit deeper because again, I think every time I've tried this, I've gone a little too light and it just didn't help. Like it was, on, it was just too light, it looked weird. So I've got a little bit on my finger. We're just gonna put it in the same area, of course. She's 18, I'm 32, which means I need a moment of silence for me to reckon with the fact that I am 14 years older than her. I think it's only weird to me because I feel like an 18 year old in my mind. I've said this in a past video, but I still fully believe it that sometimes, no, like all the time, like if something's going wrong in a situation, I look around and look for an adult in the room because even though I'm 32, I still, look for a more adultier adult in the room. So with and without, not a huge difference. It does look better though. You know what, let me just put a like second layer on. I will say this, I'm starting to understand better why a product like this does have hype because it really doesn't look crepey, but this is not something you're gonna apply with like a brush or a beauty blender and it's gonna look right. Like this is a use your fingers kind of a product and you have to know what to expect. And I am kind of liking it more than I used to. I think it's because I more often, not more often than not, but mm, a lot, I just do a quick five minute makeup look and I am all about something that I can just use my fingers for, get done. I have a feeling the majority of you guys are feeling the same way. And this is definitely a product that does that, but you can expect that it's not gonna have the kind of coverage that like real concealers have. Cause I don't feel like this is a real concealer. I'm sorry, Glossier, but I am enjoying you. Surprised at how much I'm liking it. And maybe it's because the shade match is way better for me. So if you're near my skin tone, G10 worked really well. So the next thing I'm gonna do is bronzer. I really like using bronzer to kind of make you look tan and sun-kissed. This was the product I cannot figure out what she was using. It looked like it was a square packaging when she kind of flashed it by. And I was like, maybe it's like a physician's formula one like in the thick cardboard packaging, but I really could not tell. It could be Tarte Park Avenue Princess, like that looks similar. So I'm just gonna use a bronzer that I have. I'm just grabbing the Milani Silky Matte Bronzer. I have it in sunlight, which is like their lightest one. Feels a little bold and brazen to throw this on top of this with no powder at all. In fact, as I'm saying this out loud, I don't think she uses a single powder. Again, she's got like perfect skin. You know what I mean? <laughs> like she doesn't need any of this. This really is a nice bronzer. I haven't given it a lot of love lately, but it is one of the nicer ones at the drugstore for sure. Always had this little birthmark. People are always like, oh, I got rub that little thing. And I'm like, no, leave it. I just really like it. Let's talk about that. So when I was younger, like I have a birthmark on my eye. It's like a, it's a mole and it's always been there. I get it checked out by a dermatologist and my eye doctor every year. It's all good. But it's one of those things that I was so embarrassed of as a kid. And even like in my teenage years and like early 20s, and it's only been until recently that I'm like, you know what, Jessica, that makes you unique. That's a part of you. And you know, it's not causing any problems so far, knock on wood. But it's just kind of funny because I feel like this crop of teenagers growing up, I don't know, I guess I can't speak for all of them, but I do feel like there's this trend towards really appreciating who you are individually and like little things like a birthmark on your face that she's only 18 and she's already like, no, please leave it, I like it. And I feel like me at 18 would have been like, yep, cover it up. Like, <laughs> I was so self-conscious. So I just think that's so, so cool to hear. Blush next, I'm just gonna do like a little. I used to never wear blush when I was younger. I was like, blush, why would I wanna make my face red? I'm like trying to take the redness out of my face. Um, and now it's my favorite thing and I wear so much blush. Did some digging on this one. She was using a Pacifica blush and I don't know the exact shade. This one looked the closest. So it's the Pacifica Blushes Coconut and Rose Infused Cheek Color. It says it's universally flattering and this is in the shade Camellia. 
It's really pretty, really tiny little packaging, but it's been a while since I've tried anything from Pacifica, I feel like. I'm just gonna use this Eco Tools brush. Ooh, it does kind of have this like sheen to it. It's not like glitter at all, but it's like kind of this luminous, oh my gosh. Isn't that pretty? For a powder blush, I feel like it's looking like a cream blush. I'm always excited when I'm like, ooh, I'm on the verge of falling in love, baby. <laughs> Jessica, slow down, it's the first day. Next thing I do is highlighter. Just do like a little on the apples of my cheeks. And sometimes I'll even, I'm just going highlighter crazy today. Sometimes I'll like put it like in the corner of my eye. I feel like she's someone that you could just like hang out with. She was using the Stila Heaven's Hue Highlighter. Now, I don't know what shade she was using. I got Opulence, and then when I got it in the mail, I was like, oh boy, that's white. So we're gonna try it. It looks like it's gonna have a really, uh, <laughs> like, and we're already looking glowy, so this may have been a mistake. If I like the formula though, I might consider, you know, trying another one of the shades, but we're gonna see. But I am a little nervous. It doesn't look bad though, it just really adds it's just gonna be obvious, do you know what I mean? Like I feel like if I got something closer to my skin tone and I do think there's a color closer to my skin tone, that might look a little better. So this highlighter is gonna be a little more obvious. All right, I don't hate it. It's a very, very soft, thin highlighter. So if you're into that, you don't want something thick and like powdery, this is not powdery at all. Next, we're gonna fill in my brows. Oh my gosh, when I was younger, when I was like, 14 or so, I was obsessed with doing makeup and I would do the craziest makeup. I would do like contour where it was just lines, 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 winged eyeliner that went like crazy in this direction, had like thick brows and like overlined lips. So bad, I'm so glad that my mom like didn't let me go out anywhere looking like that, but that was me like doing my expression and doing what I loved, I guess. But I definitely have toned it down a lot since then. That's been a part of growing up and you know, I'm still gaining confidence in, in how I look and probably still will be for you know a very long time. All right, so she uses two brow products. The first thing she uses is this Anastasia Perfect Brow Pencil. So I don't think I've tried this, I've tried like their you know, their Brow Wiz, which is like their thin brow pencil. I've tried their one that's like a little bit thicker, but it's still like automatic. This one is one that you sharpen. It's a wooden pencil. And I don't think I've tried it. Now she has naturally fuller and dark brows. So she doesn't really seem to put on a lot. I got it mine. Yeah, that should be good. I got mine in medium brown. So we'll just kind of she seems to just kind of focus on the outer portion of her brows, not so much on the inner. I feel like this is nice for you if you, you can press hard and like really get it dark, but this is kind of easy to kind of quickly run through and it never is too much if you're not pressing super hard, which is nice because sometimes if you're used to like pomades or like retractable ones, it can be easy to go overboard fast and it's hard to fix. Whereas with something like this, it's pretty forgiving. I'm digging that. Okay, Olivia, you are steering me right today. The Glossier Boy Brow, which is the most iconic Glossier product in my opinion. I love this stuff. I think I tried the Boy Brow years ago and I wasn't a fan, but again, my so much has changed in what I like and my brows have filled in a little bit more and there's so much. So I got the clear and the colored. I have been such a fan lately of the Benefit Gimme Brow, which is the same idea. Really small spoolie, it's got color on it. Um, and I've been loving it, so I'm kind of excited to try this one again. I'm gonna do the clear just to stay true to what she did, but I will try the colored one soon and let you know how I like it. If you have like longer brow hairs, you know when you like change your shirt or whatever, your brows look crazy like once. So I'm hoping this will hold them in place well enough that if I'm changing, my brows don't look like, I don't know, like animal from the Muppets. So that was nice. They don't feel crunchy. So if you're not a fan of the crunchy feel, you might like this. I, uh, if you do like a crunchy, not gonna move brow gel, the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel, I love that stuff. Your brows do not move, but it doesn't flake. It is perfect. But this is a little more like flexible, you know what I mean? Ooh, I'm looking real hydrated. I'm gonna use the Glossier Pro Tip Liquid Eyeliner. I love doing liquid eyeliner, it's my favorite. I 
I love elongating my eyes. I'm very nervous because sometimes it really works and sometimes it really doesn't. So if I have a bad eyeliner day today, just bear with me, I'll take it off and do it again. I usually start by doing the wing first and then everything else that comes after. So I've never used this. Yeah, it's definitely a brush tip and it's like black, but it's like lighter. But again, if Glossier's whole thing is a little more low key, then it kind of makes sense that this would be black, but not like the blackest black you've ever seen, which I'm cool with. I have plenty of super black uh, liners, you know? I am here for this trend of no eyeshadow and just like a wing. I'm kind of loving it. I did it the other day and I was like, dang, like it's so easy, but it can look so put together and chic and easy. I already said that, but like most importantly, easy. So I, I am here for like no eyeshadow a lot of days. It's just kind of nice or like one single shadow. So like I said, if you're looking for the blackest eyeliner, this is not even going to come close, but it's definitely dark and it, it was really easy to get on there. It didn't, it doesn't seem to bleed out or anything like that. And it was pretty easy to be precise with. So that I appreciate it. I'm gonna apply some mascara. So here she's using the Milk Kush mascara. I've tried it and didn't like it. So I didn't wanna buy it again, just for the sake of this. Cause I was like, I already know I don't. It's not like the worst mascara. I just didn't love it. So let me grab a mascara that I already have. And she also curled her lashes. And I'm gonna use the Revlon So Fierce Big Bad Lash. This one's newer to me, but tried it in a recent video and I was so impressed. So I figure, let's keep rocking and rolling with it. I feel like me doing my own makeup, I spend a couple minutes on my mascara. I'll do a couple coats, I'll brush through them. But I feel like a lot of times when I see celebrities do theirs, they just do the lightest like dusting of mascara and I feel like I could be better about that about like you know if it's already volumizing enough just like let it be. The next thing I'm gonna do is lips and I'm going to use this Glossier Ultra Lip. So the Ultra Lip um, has hyaluronic acid in it. I love how it's buildable like I love the natural color of my lips. This just sort of accentuates that it doesn't try to like cover it up or put a new color on top of it it just emphasizes what you got. The shade is Ember. So I placed that second order because this Ultra Lip product wasn't released until like a couple days ago. And so at least when I'm filming this. So I placed an order and got just this one shade in Ember that she was using because it looks so beautiful and mauve -y. I should have at least bought a second shade and I'm kind of mad at myself. I mean, I, I could, but I'm, Jessica, you are not placing a third Glossy order this month. This shade, I was kind of swatching it earlier. I'm like, I think it's gonna be a little deep for what I typically go for. But her lip, I have naturally somewhat pigmented lips. She has naturally very pigmented lips. So this blended right into her lips and looked absolutely gorgeous. So we're gonna see. I wanna go lighter on it. So instead of swiping it, I'm just kind of patting it on. See, that looks nice. I feel like that looks really put together. But like in a swatch, it definitely is like super hydrating, but it can get a lot deeper and that's not really what I want but it definitely feels balmy and like comfy. I'd be interested to try another color maybe in the future, but this is kind of unique and I don't know that I really have a lip color that looks quite like this, you know? Next thing that I do is like my hair. My hair's like a little curly right now. So I do it like from far away though, cause it gets white. Okay, there you go. Just like rub it in. So she's using the dry shampoo from Living, I forgot the name of it, Living Proof Perfect Hair Day. That's actually one of my favorites. The only thing is it definitely gives a white cast as you see in this. And uh, I don't love the smell, but it it works. Like it will make your hair feel clean. So I am a big fan of it. It's pretty expensive. I always wait till I can get it on sale. I'm not gonna put it in today cause I don't really need dry shampoo. I just cleaned my hair today. But uh, I do want to use this next product. Something that I really love also, hair oil. Put a little bit on my fingertips. Figured out what she was using. It's this Kerastase elixir for the hair. I got this smaller one. She had like a big bottle because um, it was expensive. And I was like, I don't even know if I'm going to like it. So I wanted to be sure. Um, so we're just going to get a little bit. Not noticing a huge, I'm nervous because my hair can get. The one thing about doing it this way that's nice is I have like a spray I really like that's kind of like this, I don't want to say glittery, but like kind of glittery, um, but it's like this oil. I only put it on the ends of my hair because that is like all I can do. If I put it any higher, my hair will be so greasy. That does look healthy though, right? But anyway, the one thing about that is I feel like I can never get it evenly on my hair because I'm just spraying it in. So 
with this kind of a product you can put in your hands and then really control where you're putting it. I really like that. So this was nice. It feels pretty lightweight, but I do think it made the ends of my hair look really healthy and shiny. And you know what? I always see all these celebrities with the freaking healthiest looking hair and I'm wondering, is it just hair oil? Like, is that it? <laughs> I think the biggest thing I've learned in makeup is, is less is more, especially with me. I think just accentuating your natural features is always the move and always when I feel the most confident. I really love putting on makeup and it's this really awesome ritual for me. And it's so much fun and it's something that me and my friends do. And I think, at the root of your beauty routine should just be, you know, enjoyment and, you know, just doing it for your own self-confidence. That's definitely what I've learned to do and it's the best. Okay, I, this is the thing. It really does make my heart so happy just seeing younger women like Olivia talk about that kind of stuff and just being happy with who you are and doing makeup for yourself. And if you feel more beautiful in your makeup, awesome. But at the root of it all, you should be doing it for yourself. And I just think that's a really nice message. And that's all, it just makes me happy. And someone that used to teach fifth graders and some of the actually sixth graders that I first taught are now probably about her age, which is insane. I look pretty oily. <laughs> oh, kinda wanna powder my face. Are you guys cool if I powder? I mean, oof. I finally got the right shade, or at least closer to the right shade, of the Kosas Cloud Set Powder. It was sold out, I ordered a shade that was way too dark, and so I finally got a shade I think will work. Yeah, oh my gosh, that is so much better than the one I had. So, so this is a powder that's really nice for just setting the face. It's not too much, but it definitely will like soak up that oil. Oh my gosh, that looks so much better. So that's all of it, huh? I, I like it. I mean, it's not as, it to be like a little more concealer and you know, obviously a little less shine, but generally I feel like it was a very easy but pretty makeup look. And looking through the products we tried, some of my favorites, I really enjoyed this lip scrub. I was kind of surprised and I really enjoyed the Pacifica blush in Camellia. I just, I'm, I will be using this a lot in the next few weeks. I just think it's so pretty and it's got such a pretty finish to it on top of it all. The First Aid Beauty Tinted Moisturizer, I don't hate, but now I know it's definitely something that I need to set with the powder, which is fine. I typically set my face with powder anyway, but I have pretty normal to dry skin. Um, I'm excited to play more with this hair oil. This is definitely gonna be something that's in my routine now that I have it. And I, I think the Ordinary Serum I really like, but this might be why my skin was so oily. So it might be better for me to use at night or in the morning well before I would do my makeup so it sinks in because I just think it might have created too, too hydrated of a base. But I don't think anything we tried today was absolutely horrible. Oh, I am really excited about the Anastasia brow pencil. I feel like that was so easy and low key. So I'm gonna play with that some more. And the Glossier stretch concealer kind of surprised me. So that was everything. If you enjoyed this style of video, I have an entire playlist. I've been doing this for a while and I, I just think it's so fun to try different products, but also trying different looks, different techniques. And it's always fun to, get a peek into like celebrities routines. I don't know. I just, I think that's something that like, even when I was younger, you know, you'd flip through magazines. I loved the spread of like, what's in my bag and celebrity would share what's in their bag. Those kinds of things always like excited me. So these videos are kind of like my little reach into my younger self and what I love and still love doing, which is like totally peeking into celebrities lives. So I hope you enjoyed it too. I also would love if you subscribed and joined our little family here. I upload three videos a week. I'd also love to chat with you over on my Instagram. It is at it's Jessica Braun. I post on my Instagram stories and my reels all of the time. I'd love to see you over there too. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.